Welcome to the Medved Trader Scanning Tutorial, Part 2. As we completed Part 1 of this tutorial, we created the Going Outside Bollinger Band scan and activated it on the portfolio. We're going to explore how to modify scans, tinker with some indicator settings to adjust scan results, and how to set up scan alerts. First, if you remember from Part 1, we have named the scan colors. Let's see how you can modify the colors that the scan shows in the portfolio. Just click the params button on the scanner tab. And let's change one of the colors. You will see it change in the portfolio scan results. Color is just one of the parameters that can be changed by the user of the scan. We will look at others later. Let's edit the scan to modify it a bit. Click on the Edit Scan button. The scan editor opens with a scan loaded in it. Now let's modify the scan. Right now it shows up when a candle's close goes outside the Bollinger Band. Let's put another condition on it. Medved Trader has a pace indicator, which basically shows if the volume is unusually high. Let's only have the scan result trigger if the pace is greater than 250%. To do that, let's add another rule. And let's move the rule up so that it's the first one. Now let's set it so that the rules condition is pace is below 250. Pace less than 250. And if this condition is satisfied, check the and stop box and save the rule. The AND STOP is very important here. Since the rules are processed in sequence, what will happen is that if the pace is below 250, processing of rules will stop and it will never get to check for the Bollinger Band bounce, which means that only the unusually high volume stocks will be checked for the Bollinger Band's breakouts. Let's save the scan and close the editor. The scanner will restart and as you see the number of results will be less because of the extra constraint that we put into the scan. Let's wait for the scan to initialize. And there it is. As you see, there are a lot fewer scan results because of the extra condition we put in. Scans can also trigger alerts. Let's stop the scan for now and open the scan editor again. Let's choose the second rule and let's say that we want the scan to alert us every time that the close is greater than the Bollinger Band's top line. So we pick alert and we give the alert a name and we give it a message close above BB As you can see, the message can be fairly long. Let's save the rule, save the scan, and exit the editor. Now, when we open the scan parameters, we will see that there is an alert available in the paint bar. This is the alert. By default, 
the alert is not activated, so it will not fire. In order to activate it, click on its checkbox, and you can click on the alert itself to set the various parameters for it. All the regular Medved Trader alert options, such as pop-up window, highlighting portfolio row, and playing sounds are available. The message that is passed by the alert can be included in the note that the alert generates. It's the alert's description. We will set this alert to do the pop-up notification. Of course, as happens with all alerts, when triggered it will also be logged in the alert log. Let's start the scan again and see the alerts start popping up. We can, of course, also go to the alert log and see which alerts have popped up. Here comes another one. All right, well, this concludes part two of our tutorial on Medved Trader's pain bars. In part three, we will discuss advanced scans. Tell your friends about Medved Trader and good luck in your trading.